it looks like a normal house and it is but it's also a home brewery it's a studio for making youtube videos and other social media content and it's an office that literally four people work in every day fun fact nobody lives here everybody just thinks that we live here but we don't here we go this is the inside of the claw hammer supply global media headquarters i'm going to show you three things like i mentioned i'm going to show you our home brewery setup that we have but i'm also going to just show you how we how we use this space and our equipment to make the videos that we make and then i'm going to show you like the office aspect of it as well because this is where we all work um so here is the living room this is where we often shoot our tastings and like little interviews if you ever have seen those in our videos um this is a mannequin uh we got this as a uh prop for one of our videos but i'll tell you what it is so handy for filming solo i can use it to set my focus up and then i just move it out of the way it's also a merch model look at this ross made this uh, sweet shirt for us this art here is actually art from our favorite brewery burial in Asheville, north carolina it looks cool but we also have these lights built into the wall so we've got a, a backdrop like here that is connected to a switch i walk over here flip this on and we are ready to shoot we don't have to get lights out and move them around and set that up every time whenever we want to shoot in here we just flip that on we have another light that's built up into the ceiling up here which helps um, we have only one light currently in this room on the floor but this is going to change we are going to mount that somewhere up there up here or something my goal is to never have any lights on the floor ever they're just a pain to move around they take up a lot of space you know they're quite expensive and they're pretty easy to knock over so it's best to just get that stuff up the floor and that's what we try to do we have uh, I'm from Ohio and uh, the Christmas story is one of my all-time favorite movies this is the infamous leg lamp it could be seen up and down Cleveland Street he won that it's a major award <laughs> that entire movie was filmed in Cleveland so okay so I'm gonna show you this this was just like an attic space when I bought this place but I have this carved out. This is where the 3D printer is going to live because like we literally just are like have no space to put it anywhere else. So we are trying to expand into other areas and we've done, you know, we've done one video with the printer so far where I made a bushing for an electric apple press. We're also gonna use this little area for like filming time lapses and stuff like that. I have this ladder. This is sort of temporary, um, but it is, this is how it's gonna be. Again, I like keeping stuff off the floor. So I can just hang that up on a bar when I'm not using it and it's up off the floor. When I wanna use it, it brings it down. So I'm sure everybody wants to see like this part of it but I'm, I'm i just i need to show you this basically every single aspect of this house slash office slash studio is set up to be a film set so we even have a beer themed shower curtain in here and we've used this in videos before we've literally put our crawl space the crawl space of this house in uh, video so this stuff is delicious well, let's, let's do my office first and then we'll move on to the brewing part. Here's some of my all-time favorite books. I mean, clearly my two favorites, the four-hour work week and then obviously the Mountain Dew cookbook. So. so here is my office, set up as a place for me to work and get stuff done, but it's also just set up to, you know, like look cool and be part of a film studio. And, and um, you know, we have, we have again, we, I have lights that are hanging, I have, um, space for a camera so I can just plug that into my laptop or whatever start filming if I want to I have a microphone that's built in here as well it just lives on the desk there sound panel this room is a little echoey as are some of the other parts of the office so we have some sound panels built in um, I'm a huge fan of the TV show Seinfeld and when I was designing this office 
which by the way, I like am meticulous when I design things. I make a 3D design file for almost every single thing that I build. And I, I drew this up using uh, Google SketchUp. You can actually see these are some of the old like 2D plans. But anyway, back to the Seinfeld thing. One of my all time favorite uh, skits is when George Costanza built a bed under his desk when he worked for the Yankees. <laughs> I didn't only have the space for that, so I was like, you know what? I have this space up there, so let's build it. I don't have the mattress for it yet, so it's just kind of storage, but definitely a size for an IKEA mattress. I'm a big fan of naps. I don't see anything wrong with that if it's gonna increase your productivity, so. And then I built a ladder into the wall. This actually slides out, and then you can climb up and then climb right up there. This is so this stuff it's pretty cool this is a make noise synthesizer this right here is a definite pandemic purchase i'm um, trying to figure out what to do with my time i was like yeah maybe i'll just do something absolutely insane and try to make some music and um, audio for the backdrops of our videos done a little bit here and there haven't really fully integrated it yet but still working on it check this out this is I, I bought three of these things. I've yet to find one that's like actually works. Uh, I did recently find a guy who says he might be able to cobble one working version together with the three that I have. But this is a Panasonic Omnimax video recorder. This is what I used to shoot videos on in high school, like 20 some years ago. 25, geez. Um, yeah, so these things are super cool. I, I want to work some VHS footage into our videos, which I have a little bit here, but I kind of want to do more of it. I just think it's super, like, cool. Retro cool. Speaking of, you guys remember this thing? All right, should we look at the camera? So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the brewery here in a second, but I'll just tell you, you know, kind of show you how we film stuff. So currently, I'm filming this on a GoPro camera, which we generally don't use for our videos. These actually just perform a lot better and you know, the lighting that we have in here and they zoom, they're just, you know, all over higher quality camera. This, uh, this is probably our number one go-to. This is Panasonic GH5. It's a micro, four, micro four thirds format. So this is like, you know, 75% of the size, I'd say like a Canon camera would be a full size camera. It's a little bit lighter. I just like the smaller um, format of this camera. We use Lumix 25 to uh, 12 to 35 lens f2.8. This has image stabilization built into it. The lens does, as does the camera. So you can you can um, set this up for dual image stabilization. You can film without a tripod, without a gimbal, and your shots will be better and smooth. We have a Rode shotgun mic built into this, but this is really just for basically like ambient and or backup audio. Our primary audio for almost any, every video we shoot is gonna be captured with something like this, the Sennheiser. Um, lav mic so it's wireless transmits to this guy and the receiver which then gets recorded with the zoom pod track p8 uh, much higher audio quality using something like this you know a little clip on mic than than this i should mention this this showed up in the mail the other day i'll cover my address up 100,000 subscribers youtube thanks everybody for making that happen so here is the actual brewery part of the, the studio. This is where we brew our, the beer for the videos. This is where we kind of show off our equipment and what we can do with it essentially. Our goal is to show people how to brew beer, to get them psyched up and excited about it. And then when, if and when they're ready for it, we have equipment for them. So this is our 10 and a half gallon brewing system with our um, digital temp control unit. It's actually running right now. I'm cleaning it and I'll just throw some PBW in there. So that's powdered brewery wash. It's like an oxy cleaner. You let it run. It's pretty easy. So we have taps built into the wall. I have a like fermentation fridge built into the wall. This is a beer we brewed like two days ago. It is currently fermenting at 66 degrees. You don't want to like, you don't you want to chill those down slightly below room temp. 
any really almost any beer you brew because you're going to get better results. You know, we have some storage built space built up in here for showing off some of our other systems. So this is the 20 gallon, 240 volt system. And you know, twice as big, three times as powerful. We use that sometimes or we just kind of swap these out when we're not using the other one. This is a pasta arm or pot filler that I built into the wall here. Again, I meticulously planned this out with the 3D model before I started building this. So I can actually run hot water or cold water out of this. I have a nozzle built in there. Hot water when we're filling up the kettle to get ready to brew. Cold water when we're chilling it down. Actually for that, for the chiller water, I have a hose spigot built into the wall here. Uh, most commonly people will use flat plate chillers or immersion chillers that almost always hook up to a spigot from the garden hose. I thought, well, why would I run a hose outside when I can just run one inside? So just put that in the wall and it's right there, ready to go. Just like the living room and my office, um, the lights are up off of the floor. So we have these backdrop lights built into the ceiling and they can be turned on as easily as just flipping a switch. When you're lighting in space, you want the backdrop to be lit up, you want the subject to be lit up, but you don't want the subject to be casting a shadow on the backdrop. So you want two sets of lights, the backdrop light, and then the light for the actual person or product or whatever you're filming. These things are massive. And can you imagine like if these were on stands on the on the ground, like it just doesn't work. So I went ahead and built this um, iron pipe, this little system and grabbed some super clamps and just clamp these babies up there. This is another like tripod for a, a different angle that we, we can use the camera for, but you know, all of the, the lights and the plugs and stuff for this, Again, I just flip a switch and these guys turn off. I'm ready to film, come in here, hit a button. I'm ready to roll. It saves so much time and it's just so much more convenient to do it that way. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is, it's really just like, it's a kitchen, man. It's a normal house. So uh, this is a new addition here, some healthy snacks. I decided to buy these because, well, A, my editors asked if we could get some snacks around the office, but B, you know, I care about the health, and if I don't buy this stuff, like, this is what they end up buying and eating for breakfast. So, I thought, how about some, you know, dark, how about some nuts and some, you know, this has got some butter in it, but it's 30 calories, something like this. I feel like it's better than this. Espresso machine, keep everybody caffeinated. Let's see if it's leaking. Um, yeah, so, that's that. So, the tap system here, this is a functional, tap system. When the kegerator is fully loaded, we have eight, up to eight beers on tap. Actually, I have this one set up for hot water. We have a hot water on this one right now. I'm going to do some cold brew coffee at some point, but yeah, if we want to, you know, we brew a beer, we're ready to do the tasting. We just put it on tap and boom. It's literally like having a bar, um, in your house or your office, which you know what? It's a slippery slope, folks. If you do something like this, just have a plan for, uh, you know, not drinking all day, but it's nice to have. It's fun to have around. It's really fun having people over and just drinking the beer that we brew. It's, it's nothing quite like it. I'll show you what the back of this keg rater system looks like now. We'll also check out the video editor's room. So the editors, Lawson, and Nathaniel hang out oh, wow. in here and um, editors are a key part of this operation. I used to edit all of our videos and you know I, I like to think I wasn't bad at it but I'll also admit I wasn't good at it so I figured hey let's let's get some people who can do this faster and better than I can and we really hit the jackpot with these two guys. So Lawson does a lot of our YouTube videos, actually almost all of our YouTube videos. We have another guy who kind of does some stuff remotely. Nathaniel does all of our sh short form stuff, so like Instagram, tic the TikToks. Three point, what is that Stuff say? like that. 3.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> nice work on that. So anyway, here, here's the kegerator. Obviously you have to keep beer cool. 
and um, yeah, this is how we do it. I've modified a chest freezer as storage for the, the kegs. So this is an ongoing project. It's not finished yet. We're about to release a video on this, but this is just how it all sets up. We brew the beer, we put it in kegs, we stick it in here. We have some carbonation coming in. We have the liquid lines going out and they run right into the back of the wall there. Let's see, I have one more. Should I show you guys this? I'm not even sure if I should show you. I'll show it to you. Why not? Just uh, know, brace yourself. This is Emmett's office. I don't know what he does in here, but... Let me show you the outside. This is a carport. It used to just be sitting on the ground. It had about, I don't know, six feet of clearance. What I did was I moved it over here near the house, which kind of makes more sense to me. We built it up off the ground. So we have this nice like big place to hang out in now. This is going to be um, an important part of our video operations moving forward. Oh yeah. Mm. This, this kind of strip of um, boards here in the back is so when we have a camera here and we're filming people we don't have sun blasting right into the lens so again just like everything else this has been set up as a a set you know it's a nice place to hang out and whatnot but like it's a great place to shoot videos as well and I have, you can see a block in, up here. I take that claw hammer supply sign that's inside. I move it out here, I screw it to that piece of wood and move this table over. We're ready to go. Bright enough out here that I don't really need a whole lot of extra light, so that's cool. And this is the newest and I think final addition to our brewery office. It is a shipping container and I'll show you why this is so cool and I'll tell you why I'm so excited about it. So here's what it does. Both of these doors, like actually there are four doors, they all open up. And so this entire thing, the entire side of this thing opens up. And so it kind of looks like a stage or something when it's all open. What I'm going to do is turn half of this into a gym because I like working out and so does some of the people that work here. And then the other half is gonna be a bar. I think it's gonna be a big hit for um, the old YouTubes. I think people will like it as well. So back inside here, I just wanted to say one thing before taking off. Thank you guys so much for this. We did it. 100,000 subscribers. YouTube sent us this cool plaque. I'm gonna hang that thing up and then this place will officially be complete. Thanks for watching.